All right, hello, welcome once again. Here's another video on how to do metric conversions. Um, in this particular problem, we are being asked to convert 8.6 times 10 to the third kilometers into how many nanometers that would be. The first thing we're gonna ask ourselves is, is there a relationship that we're supposed to know between kilometers and nanometers? The answer is no. In order to do this problem though, we have to have some sort of relationship. So I'm going to look at kilometers. I'm going to ask myself, what do I know about kilometers? Using my metric reference sheet, I know that a kilometer is equal to 10 to the third meters. Well, that's great. That's going to get me to meters, but that's not nanometers. I'm now going to think about what do I know about this unit? Using my metric reference sheet, I know a nanometer is equal to 10 to the minus 9 meters. So I'm hoping that you can see that if we start here at kilometers, we can go from kilometers to meters and from meters into nanometers. We're ready to go. Whenever we do a problem, we always go back to what was given. So we were given 8.6 times 10 to the third kilometers. If I have kilometers upstairs, we want to put kilometers downstairs. And looking at my ratio, it's a bad cake. Looking at my ratio, one kilometer goes downstairs and 10 to the third meters goes right above it. This will convert my kilometer, cancel my kilometers. I'm not done yet though, because ultimately I want nanometers. If I stop right now, my answer is in meters. So there's no reason to stop. Let's keep going. If I have meters upstairs, then I'm going to use my next relationship. I want meters to go downstairs. So we'll put 10 to the minus 9 meters downstairs, and right above it, we'll go our 1 nanometers. Our meters unit will cancel, and now the only unit we have left is nanometers, which is what we're looking for. Now, 8.6 is going to be multiplied and divided by 1. So we're just going to carry that here. The only thing we have left to deal with are our powers of 10. 10 to the third times 10 to the third. When we multiply exponents, we add them. So that's going to be 3 plus 3, or 10 to the sixth power. Now we're going to take our 10 to the sixth power, we're going to divide it by our 10 to the minus 9. When we divide exponents, we subtract them. So I'm going to take my 6, subtract my negative 9, Negative times a negative is a positive, so we have 6 plus 9, which is equal to 15. So my power is 15, we add our unit on the end, and the answer is 8.6 times 10 to the 15th nanometers.